All right, all right. We are back again. Um, this is the 5.7 liter Hemi engine. Um, we got the new engine in and we're about to go back in it. So uh, right now, I'll strip off all the connectors and unneeded parts, change the rear main seal. Uh, we changed, uh, got a new water pump, new water pump, and um, new thermostat. And of course, I'm gonna change that oil filter. We got new spot plugs in. Uh, swapped out the valve covers from the old uh, the one that came in because they broke a few clips on the valve cover of the engine I took off the intake it's still good if we need them um, so right now all I think I'm remaining to do I need to put the exhaust shield on both sides and I'm going to remove this engine mount because um, the way I see it is going to be a bigger problem trying to install it with the mount. It was a little bit easier coming out, but going in, um, it's gonna be a fight, so I don't want that. So I'm going to remove this engine mount. Uh, when we stab it to the transmission, then I reinstall the engine mount. <clears throat> That's how I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> so this is where we at, as you can see. So the bad boy is ready. Got the engine hoist holding it up. <clears throat> and it's about to go into the car, into the truck. All right. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are <clears throat> planning on uh, installing this engine, this bad boy, 5.7, man, Hemi baby, that thing got a Hemi, yeah, it got a Hemi, alright, we got a Hemi engine right here, 5.7, so uh, this is, um, the continuation of the video. I uh, got everything, new water pump, like I said, everything put on. So now we're going to attempt to stab this engine into that transmission down there. Uh, it's a tricky job, but this is the old school way. You know, you can do this in your yard, you know. So this is the old school way, there's all the ways to do this, but it's always the traditional way to do engines, rear wheel drive, you stab it in like that, so uh, make sure at this point that you got your torque converter in the transmission and you have your flywheel on the engine with, you got a, a washer right there. I don't know if you can see it. You got a spacer right there. So we're trying to get in there. Get this light in real nice. So y'all can see where the engine is down there. See that engine down there? We got our engine together, everything ready to go. Yada yada yada. All right. So, I guess you can watch me deliver this baby or put the baby back in the in the womb. Or should I say put the baby back in the womb? All right, so you know it's, it's not an easy task. Put a baby back in the womb.
thumb sliding it in uh, so I want to explain something the way I did this I use a floor jack I put a floor jack under the transmission measure the height then I brought this in I removed both in engine uh, both engine mounts on both sides of the banks and I slid it in I got one boat started from the starter side there's two middle boats on each side that goes that direction it goes that direction on each side he said uh, I guess you call it a, a chaser boat uh, a chaser threads so when you put them the thread through it meets the transmission you put one in and then I was able to push it up from this side and came back up here and lined it up and then went back there and put the other one in and then came back and put the two tops there's two so you'll be a uh, total of four holding it right now after doing that then I picked the engine up a little bit more after of course tightening all the bear housing uh, four bear housing bolts then you will um, come here and install your side engine mount so you install the side engine mount then I pick this up a little bit to go on the groove it has two uh, it has a, a long bolt with a nut on the other side you put it through the mount you don't have to tighten it you drop it down on the same thing on both sides you drop it down and it catches on an engine mount like I'm about to drop it see right there you see it on the engine mount so now after taking this off later I will have to I will have to now tighten down the engine mount and then uh, tomorrow we're gonna start back where we left off I'm very tired probably like I think it's 10 about 10 30 p.m. right now but I'm still here the hustle the hustle this is where we'll be hustling yeah it's all good when, 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 when you are doing what you love, it's no work. You can, you can stay as long as you want. You don't even know time is passing. You know? Be, whatever work, take pride in your job. Take pride in what you do. And do your best to be the best. That is my philosophy.